Hello! Today we're going to look into the energy, the connection between Taurus and Virgo, two earth signs. You know how we set this up. Uh, put Taurus on this side, past, present, future energy, and Virgo on this side, past, present, future energy, and then we're going to do clarifications. Taurus Virgo energy, its connection. Taurus Virgo. Taurus Virgo. Taurus Virgo. One more. Absolutely. Taurus Virgo. Taurus Virgo, come through. So Taurus, in the past, your, your energy was that of the fool, ready to take that leap of faith. Virgo, in the past, your energy was that of the Eight of Cups, leaving a situation and going towards your Nine of Cups. The current energy for Taurus is um, Capricorn, the devil, in reverse, taming, uh, taming extraneous energies. Um, we're going to do some clarifications there. The current energy for Virgo is not in the defensive posture any longer. The seven of wands in reverse. The future energy for Taurus is communication. We need this communication. I need to understand how you feel. In the future, Virgo, you have the Queen of Cups energy. Beautiful. At the bottom of the deck in this connection, we have the energy of the Queen of Swords. Only come to me with the whole truth. Uh, we need to understand more of this, please, with some clarification. This is not a, a mirroring energy right now in this connection. I see it's um, it's almost like a conversation, a ping pong, energy, 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 back and forth, and communication. Clarification, please, Taurus Virgo. Thank you. Come through. So Taurus, in the, you are all about um, having that potential, just uh, understanding how much love you do have to give. There were Pisceian energy of the moon, um, two of wands, and the recognition of, okay, you know you're all that in a bag of chips. You are a, fin a formidable um, entity. You don't um, I mean, you, you have this gravitas. When you enter a room, eyes, they, fo you, they follow you. you. You have a commanding presence. Um, however, there are things that you do not share with everyone. Um, only a real, real select few people. And um, I'm not feeling that it's even um, always family. This could be like one or two people that are close to you. And even then... You keep many of your ideas to yourself. You have um, the world to give someone. You have been waiting for a long time for the right circumstance. I, I'm quite sure you found the right person or the person that you feel connected to. You're ready to take that leap of faith, but you're looking for the perfect timing, divine timing. In the past, Virgo... Uh, Let's do some clarification. Okay, their logic needed to be had. Ace of Swords and Truth. Okay, um, Virgo, I feel like you did have um, some challenges to work through from an earlier time. Um, King of Swords being very logical, it could have something to do with legalities or documents. Um, I, the Ace of Swords coming through, I feel like people have maligned your name. Um, they see you as someone who's mischievous, but that is not. You have a very kind heart. You have almost like a, a shepherd, protective um, demeanor about you. However, um, I can't help but think that other people have an attitude about you that, and it, it doesn't make sense. Um, It's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. We, I would love to see the, the Libra card of justice here. Um, 
I hear things like your reputation precedes you, almost like people think they know you even before you walk into a room. So here, Taurus, on this side with this energy is when you do walk in a room, you have a commanding presence. Virgo, before you walk into the room, people think they know you. They do not. You have had to be in a defensive posture. You have had to, but you're you're letting that go because you've you, you have begun to understand, you have begun to understand that you don't want other people's emotions and ideas about you to rule too much of your world. This was a tower event. Now you're going into a community recognition of success and Ten of Pentacles. Okay, um, Virgo, a lot is going to be happening in this year, 2023 for you. Not only are you going to be able to recreate yourself, but you're also going to have a, like maybe your own brand, something that is very um, community recognition of success. You have so many good ideas. I, that's why I feel the Ten of Pentacles coming through. However, the Tower event in reverse was up here. Um, the people who don't know you... Um, they should keep your your name out of their mouth. I'm going to put it just like that. Taurus, you feel very defensive about your Virgo. Um, you will have a tendency if someone disrespects your Virgo that you would like to um, take matters into your own hands, but you are taming that devil. Um, sometimes you do feel off balance, a little, a little bit like you're being ignored or um, second fiddle. It's just because Virgo has been through so much. And remember that they are in the process of recreating themselves. So bide your time. Remember that you remember who you are. You're the Hierophant. And know that all is good. This is a divine connection. Ace of Cups with that love overflowing. Over the devil in reverse is the Two of Cups. So you know how it is, Taurus. You love your person and you're going to defend them. This is the, the wounded warrior, nine of wands pose. This is the wounded warrior pose. You're not going to let anyone disrespect your Virgo because what? They don't even know them. They don't know them. Maybe they've heard about them and they want to have some kind of attitude, but um, you're not having it. You are not having it. And um, if, if it's like even a close friend that is giving you a hard time about Virgo, you're like, I don't know what this means. Felicia, bye. I don't know if there's a Felicia here, but you're you're prepared to tell someone to kick rocks. Um, okay, um, Virgo, in the future, the Queen of Cups, you are going to be in command of your emotions. It no longer are the ideas and thoughts of other people. Actually, I'll put it this way, because the Queen of Cups is here. They're... Um, their attitude propels you. It's like as much as they want to dissuade you or talk down about you, that is like food, that's fuel for you. So let them talk because um, they're going to feel out of left out of the party when your ship does come in and it is going to come in. There is a page of cups here. I think someone's going to have a proposal, some type of a, um, an idea to work with you. And the two of swords is here because you're very, uh, what do I want to say, steep, street, street wise, street smart. You are going to protect yourselves. You, you, you have the, I said yourselves, so you have Taurus in mind as well, Virgo. You're ready to listen to someone's ideas, but you are protecting home. You have those very large swords crossed over your heart. You are in protective mode. You're willing to listen. You're willing to listen, but you're in protective mode. Taurus, you're all about the communication, especially with this beautiful Two of Cups right above that. Um, there is, especially with the, um, the, the Capricorn energy in reverse, the uh, Eight of Swords in reverse now. This is being your, in your own jail in your own mind prison of I shoulda, I woulda, I coulda. You're going to let that go because you know now that Virgo had to go through their paces to get to this point of success. The sun card right over communication. I love it. Um, 
I see something with either um, singing or music. Something here is very like lyrical. I hear, um, yeah, this Leo energy is so beautiful. It, it's as if um, these these ideas are being buoyant, lifted up. What what a connection! What a roller coaster! The last card we have is the beautiful Queen of Pentacles. She is here. Um, everyone is going to have their own place at home. Everyone is going to feel at home when they are a part of this very tight, tight family of friends. But again, I still feel this very protective mode, especially from Virgo. Not everyone's going to be allowed to come into our house and our presence. Queen of Swords, this is here framing the, informing this whole reading because only the truth need apply. Uh, the Queen of Swords is not someone to ought to suffer fools gladly, and she only wants to understand the truth. The only, you can only come with to her with the truth in your mouth. She beckons very kindly with one hand, but she will hit you on top of the head with that sword if you bring her some um, BS. What a, what a strong connection, Taurus Virgo, and what you have been through. So the question is, is it easier for someone to, I should say, is it more difficult to watch someone go through challenges or to be the person going through challenges? I think it's equally as difficult, but do you see how beautiful it ends at the, at the, the when, when all the ships come in, a beautiful sun, wonderful. Taurus uh, Virgo, thank you very much and take good care of yourselves, okay? Okay, bye-bye.